Hello guys, here's Programming to Inspire and today we are gonna be, be uh, welcome to the fourth part of the Connect4 series. So uh, I created some sprites that this is going to be our walls and our background, uh, our overlay. So in the Connect4 create a new uh, folder, call it race, that stands for resources and I'm gonna drag those into the resources. And this will probably be in the description so you can copy it or create it yourself. Now go into the properties, Java build path, libraries, add class folder and resources. Okay, apply and close. And now this icon should appear uh, here. Now let's go into the game and try to render them. So first call renderer dot render background and for int i is equal to zero, i is less than connect four dot pixels dot length i plus plus uh, connect four dot pixels i is equal to renderer dot pixels i now renderer dot render dot render sprite and we have to create now a few sprites so go into the sprite and create a public static uh, sprite overlay is equal to new sprite overlay dot png copy paste that two more times and change this to ball and this to ball to and this is all public now let's go back into the game and here we're gonna call uh, sprite dot overlay and let's call it a zero and zero run the game and that's our overlay now we're gonna call renderer dot render sprite sprite dot ball and render it at hundred and hundred and copy paste that and render ball two at 400 and 300 and here are our balls now delete this and create a new class call it ball and put it in the dot game object objects ball we have a constructor public ball public update and public render uh, public void update and public void render now go back into the game class and inside the game class we're gonna create a list public static list of ball balls and in turn which turn is it? it is public boolean game over is equal to false import list inside neat method balls is equal to new array list of ball and game over is equal to false inside an update method we're gonna create if game over we're gonna uh, check if mouse dot button up 
mouse event button one game uh, just call cool init method and return so if it is game over we can't update anything uh, until we press the button one for int i is equal to zero i is less than balls less than balls dot size i plus plus balls dot get i dot update and copy paste that in the renderer and we're gonna render them here so dot render and go back inside an update method and here we will have if mouse dot button down mouse event button one this will uh, create our ball and put it down uh, and afterward every time in the update method we are going to check for check for game over and create this method and now let's go here and um, create another method this is going to be a helper method public boolean same player ball 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 and return false by default uh, that's it for this time and see you in the next one